Greetings, good people. Hope I meet you in great health and happiness. So, the Jada and Will Smith saga continues. You know, it's, it's good that we get life lessons. These things are, are put before us to look at our own lives. And it's not really to judge anyone. But, you know, sometimes when you're sitting on the sidelines, you can see a different perspective of what's going on in the game. So I made a previous video. <clears throat> Some people said it seemed harsh. I mean, to a degree, but life is harsh, you know? Um, and I never really cleared up that I don't have anything against Will. But what I do know, no matter your emotional instability, if you physically do harm to someone, for one, it's a bad example, and for two, you leave yourself open for retaliation. And then anything can happen. And then in, in that retaliation, another retaliation. Because if you check what happened in the streets, people get killed. And then there's a reprisal, killing. You know? So we have to be careful, no matter how we feel. You know, even with people that we love. Sometimes they don't really regard your emotion like what you would like. And that's just the reality. You know? So nobody can really say to Will and Jada they should get a divorce because that's nobody's business. And at the end of the day, many of us are in toxic, toxic relationships and we, we try to ride them out. You know? You know, it takes a certain amount of courage to walk away sometimes. And you know, we all have to balance between the pros and the cons and you know, it's a tough decision. But for them specifically, because this thing is so much in the public eye, you know, it's out in the public sphere. You know, it's easy to judge, you know. At the end of the day, right, people who have the ability to laugh and joke, that is therapeutic, it's, it, it, it relieves stress, you know, and Will, as we all know, seem like a happy-go-lucky kind of personality, and I think that's what we appreciate about him, you know, I don't know too much about Jada, uh, you know, and apparently Will is sensitive towards people saying things about Jada. Although I think that joke was innocent, I don't know if it was called for or not. It seemed innocent. Because obviously, she's not an A-list act actor or actress, but she has the look for a particular role. And I think that's what Homeboy was drawing the conclusion to. Chris Rock, you know? But anyway, for Will, it's difficult for any man to go through what he has been going through. You know what I'm saying? Because men are egotistical. Men have a different ego, I think, than women. We're, we're different in some ways and alike in some. You know? And for that to be broadcasted, remember that Will is beloved by many, you know, on a global level. And yet still, it seems as if he's not getting the type of love that we would think a person of his stature should get, a person of, of his type of warm and happy and, you know, charismatic type of, you know, so money doesn't really equate to happiness as we all know. Neither does the success of certain types of careers and so on and so forth. It's a difficult thing because there are a lot of people that are not as financially stable who are happy. And relationships, the ups and downs, you know? But to have that out there, 
it's, it's, it's a tough situation, you know. You know, a lot of these people come into our lives through TV shows and we, you know, we gravitate to them, we, we, we get fond of them, a liking, and we feel as if we're a part of their, their success and their struggle and everything else. So that's natural, you know. Anybody who saw the first video, I don't want anybody to think, oh, I have something against Will. I was a fan of Will. We are, most people that have seen Will perform are a fan. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm a 70s baby. So even when DJ Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince was rapping, people were saying that their music was, was soft. But I still appreciated it, and many people still appreciated it. You know, everybody have their own lane, and it was a great contribution. You know, parents just don't understand it's a classic, obviously. You know, when certain people put their hands on anything, they just have the knack, you know. So we appreciate that about Will. But yeah, I don't want nobody to feel like I have something against the man. It's all love. You know, the brethren, a black man is not even, he doesn't even have to be black per se, but you know, we want to see good for our people. You know, I don't want to get too deep about Jada, but I think people are seeing what many people know and they don't want to address. A lot of people get upset when a black man gets involved with another ethnicity. You see, people have different cultures. And it doesn't matter if you have the same skin or not. Your culture may not be like that person's culture. But, there's a spirit. Overall, for women, and then even specifically for what we call colored people, black people, the colored tribes. You know? I know for a fact women from different countries, ethnicities, there, there's a stigma attached to everything, you know. But there's a spirit because women feel like they've been oppressed for centuries, you know. And now there's, there has been a battle between the masculine role and the feminine role, you know. I think in this time more than any other, they are interchangeable in some instances. But I think there are people who try to make it seem like there's a permanency in certain things where women are concerned having a more dominant role. You know, the thing about life is, specifically with me, I try to let nature be the teacher. I feel like nature should be the teacher, you know? So, the back is open. So I pay attention to these things. And, we should find, we should be able to, to, to find balance. Or that should be our, our objective. You know, there have been many instances where I see people are in a relationship, they are in a disagreement, and the women feel like they have a right to get more loud, to be in your face. You know, certain laws and things have changed. So, that is putting a battery in certain women's back. You know, you have things like child support, you have things like when you get a divorce, the woman gets a big chunk. You know, all these things contribute to a certain type of spirit, a certain type of approach to a situation. You know, and it's sad, it's a, it's an uphill battle, 
sometimes we choose someone out of emotion and not logic or we don't have the balance between the two and then down the line we realize that we're not happy and we all know that feeling I would think you know what I'm saying so but I think everybody can see the toxicity you know everybody can kind of see that I know I've been in situations where, you know, I ask for a level of decency and respect in certain situations. And I have my moments when I've blown up too. But some people, when you tell them these things, they, you know, they get more aggressive. They want to be up in your face more. You know, it's like they're tempting you. They're tempting you to do something. And too many people have this spirit where they keep pushing. They don't know when to back down. Some people find the biggest thing out of the simplest thing. It's like a battle of I must win as opposed to let's find balance so we can continue in succession and progression. You know? So, it's good and bad to see. Everything is a life experience and everything we can learn something from. You know, I know Will, we can all see that Will is bothered deeply. And although it may seem like Jada is confident and her head is up and this and that, she's sad inside too. It's obvious, you know? So I don't think anybody have the answer. Most people have to go through what they need to go through to come to, you know, the right perspective for the right action to, to happen. But I have never necessarily been a fan of Jada, so I can't really speak on that. But for Will specifically, you know, I want to see good for the brethren. Because it's not about money, it's about this one life and it's about happiness. So I really want to see, I really want to see the brethren overcome. And I also want to see youths when they have disputes to be able to talk it out, you know, come to an understanding. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. But if you can push forward and create something great together, collaboration, that's always a beautiful thing and positivity, you know. Because in this time, in terms of social media, it has made the world somewhat of a village or a block. It's compressed, so we all feel like we're there in that circle, you know. Maybe that's a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing. I think it can bring people together in a certain type of understanding. It's necessary in the technological age. So we have to appreciate these type of things. Information travels so fast. So, but yeah, maybe there might be more to come. And I know everybody's watching. It's entertaining, but we have to remember that people are being affected, families, loved ones are being affected and we have to be considerate to the way people feel. If you want the best for yourself, that means you want the best for everyone. If you want the best for yourself and not the best for everyone, then you're not living a, a true, a good life. I have disputes with people, but I know deep inside they know that I have love for them. Everybody's the way that they are, they express themselves the way that they express themselves, you know. But, typically speaking, I like to see when people progress. This is why I lend ideas to brethren and sisters, you know. And I accept ideas from them also. You know, it's up to the person whether they utilize it and to what degree they utilize it. So, but yeah, 
Until next time, love and honor. Why not on granny cause granny was?